My name is Rachel Clifford, and can you hear me? You don't need to lean into it. All right. Um, and I go to Hampshire College. Um, on March 31st, Northampton police officers assaulted and pepper sprayed 26-year-old Jonas Correa, an Amherst resident and a person of color who had been exercising his First Amendment right by filming the officers as they responded to an unrelated call outside of Tully's. Jonas has been spuriously charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. He is facing not only two and a half years in prison, but also, if convicted, a lifetime of being rendered permanently ineligible to receive his full citizen rights, courtesy of what scholar and activist Michelle Alexander has coined the new Jim Crow. Such is the system of mass incarceration in the United States that, if convicted, even when Jonas is released, he would not be able to vote, he would find it very difficult, if not impossible, to find employment, and he would not be able to receive public assistance, if needed. He, like others similarly treated, might end up back in prison. This case is representative of so many abuses through the prison industrial complex and the war on whistleblowers and journalists, through the lack of police accountability both here and in other nations, and through, institu and through institutional racism. This Saturday at noon, the recently formed coalition Justice for Jonas, including members of the local branch of the NAACP and several other established groups throughout the Valley and individual concerned citizens, will assemble at Bridge Street School, march to, the, march to the Northampton Police Department, and end with a rally in front of City Hall to peacefully protest the staggering injustice. I urge you, as members of this council and as individual members of our, of our community, as well as the viewing public, to join us in support of our call for justice for Jonas, including holding the NPD accountable for its assaultive treatment of him. Thank you. Thank you.